Well, to turn now to a health alert involving the most common type of cancer in the United States. MD Anderson says about 20% of people in the United States will have skin cancer at least once by the age of 70. In Texas, that rate of skin cancer is even higher. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us now to discuss some important topics to keep in mind year round in regard to this. Yeah, because you know, um, in the past, when someone was treated for skin cancer, it's been very obvious and patients worried about how cancer treatment would change their look, particularly if it was on their face. In Texas, we have a lot more months out of the year for our skin to be exposed to UV rays and the body parts most commonly in direct sun all year round is our face. So today I asked a plastic surgeon about the new techniques to reconstruct the skin after cancer is removed. Long process Betsy right. Bremer spent a lot of time outdoors. I was a marine science instructor. So using my marine biology degree and taking kids snorkeling and kayaking um, and leading trips out in the wilderness. But last year she had a third of her eyelid removed due to skin cancer. It was a pretty big deal, but I say overall um, I was lucky to find the doctors that I did. She got help from oculofacial surgeon Dr. Amir Watsami and the result is this smooth, flawless under eye, much different from what it would have looked like decades ago. Some of the newer things we have are lasers to resurface the scar, make it less noticeable. It really depends on which part of the face or the eyelids that scar is in, but we have some great modalities to help resurface and allow people to resume their lives and not feel self-conscious of a big cancer reconstruction. Dr. Sammy says some people are more at risk of skin cancer around the eyes than others, like people who participate in winter sports with sun reflecting off of snow, pilots who fly near the sun, and fishermen, boaters, marine enthusiasts, or scientists like Bremer with sun and UV rays reflecting off water. You always have that worry about disfiguring scars and will it even function the same way? Bremer said she's happy her cancer was treatable and now hardly noticeable. It looks fantastic. She's an artist and so um, I was really glad to be in such good hands. Now, insurance does cover plastic surgeons for medical non-cosmetic needs, but Dr. Sammy reminds you that prevention is easier than reconstruction. Stay safe in the sun year round, no matter what race you are. Dr. Sammy is noticing a rise in skin cancer among Hispanics, blacks and younger patients, she says. For a list of subtle signs that you could be developing skin cancer around your eyes, check out this article on clicktohouston.com. Keith. Oh, quite the development. Haley, thank you.